He deliberated peace. He tendered love. He acquainted us with a true bond of kindness. He perceived the need of needy. He felt the sorrow. His wisdom flows from the highest source, and we salute that source in him. Here I am talking about none other than the Honorable Saint Elias Kuryakos Chavra. Myself, Shreya Chaturvedi, Kamal Convent Senior Secondary School, Amlai, hereby to deliberate my words on the very admirable, propitious, praiseworthy, astonishingly impeccable and inspiring topic that is Saint Chavra, a friend of students in the present scenario. We all know Saint Chavra as a great personality and profound linguist who enlightened the life of all and still do inspires us. A mystic who was able to give expressions to his experience both by means of verses and prose, who expressed his thoughts in the finest language of the time, augmenting it with a few linguistic references. Venerated in Catholic Church, born on 10th February 1805, he is also the founder of CMI and CMC congregation. Saint Chavra says that a true friendship is a great asset in life. He tells us, one who does not love God will not truly love us either, and the greatest among us is the one who is the humblest. A true friendship should be with the one who is trustworthy, non-judgmental and generous. Friendship for students is significant to books. Books are our true friends. A true friendship must be with profound thoughts that comes from none other than knowledge. Saint Chavra delights his words to us the students gracefully with which we should be good friends with. As he explains, our behavior depends on how our friends are. The kindness, the honesty, the faithfulness, the quality of being cheerful and the quality of self-sacrifice. This reminds me of one of his quotes that is, as food is for the body, knowledge and pity for the soul. And the soul is a healthy attitude. Hereby, I would like to conclude my words with enchanting the teaching of beloved Saint Chaura, with which we should attach a bond with to be a good person. People are often unreasonable and self-centered, but we must forgive them anyway. If we are kind, people may accuse us of ulterior motives. Then also we should be kind anyway. We must give the world the best we have and it may never be enough, but do give your best anyway. For we see in the end, it is between us and the God, the Creator. We must be abysmal generous anyway. Live for the movements you can't put into words and must always follow good thoughts to be a generous being. Thank you.